hello guys i hope you're all doing great welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel my name is nancy please subscribe share and like my videos and also put on your notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos in today's class i'll be showing you a simple and a detailed tutorial on how to show a short pants and this method is also used to sew a long pant so this is the front piece of the pant why this is the back piece of the pants so if you'd like to learn how i drafted these pants i'll drop the link in the description box kindly check it out the first step is to make sure you sewn the darts for the front piece and also the darts for the back piece yeah i have two pieces for the front panel so the first step is to place one piece on the other to make the markings for the side pockets I'll start by marking 3 inches horizontally on the waistline, then 6 inches vertically from the waistline down to the hip curve. I will use a curve ruler to connect the two points. So let's take the measurements for the pocket. Here I have two pieces, which is 15 inches by 11 inches. Now I'll place the two pieces on each other. Then I'll also bring the front piece to the table to place on the pockets as shown. Making sure that there's a half inch distance between the pocket and the waistline and also a half inch distance between the hip curve and the pocket the reason for the half inch at the sides of the pocket is to avoid the pocket from being short after attaching to the front piece please take note that this short curve is for the side pocket why the long curve is the crotch depth now I'll place the pocket on this piece to sew the curve part. Then I'll also take the other pocket to place on the second front piece. The next step is to take this to the sewing machine to sew the curved side by half an inch now i've secured the curved side of the pocket then i'll use my scissors to notch the seam as shown the next step is to turn the pocket over Then you take the piece to the sewing machine to stitch on the curved side of the pocket by half an inch. So after securing the curve, this is how the stitch should be. So these are the curved side of the pocket. The next step is to fold the pocket into two. The next step is to take the piece to the sewing machine to sew the bottom of the pocket by half an inch. And this is done to avoid losing your item when inserted into the pocket. After securing the bottom for both pockets, 
now i'll trim out the excess fabric at the top of the waistline and this excess fabric is due to the fact that we added half inch to the sides of the pocket so it's better to trim it out after attaching the pocket than for you to have a short pocket remember i deducted three inches from the waistline horizontally when i did the markings to get the pocket now i'll be adding the three inches back at the side starting from where the curved pockets begin around the waistline now i'll connect it to the hip curve now i'll place this piece on the second piece to trim out the curve at the side So it becomes equal. As you can see we've gotten the shape of the front piece back. The next step is to sew the waist down to the crotch by one inch. Then I'll also sew the waist down to the crotch for the back piece. Now I'll place the front piece on the back piece, making sure that the right side of the fabric are facing each other. Then I'll pin the sides together, which I'll take to the sewing machine to secure both sides by one inch. After sewing the sides of the shirt, the next step is to pin the flap together. Then you take to the sewing machine to secure by one inch. I'll turn this to the right side of the shirt. Then I'll place my tape to check if the waist, the hip circumference and the new circumference is accurate before proceeding. Also take note that this isn't a stretchy fabric so you don't expect it to be accurate completely. The waist circumference divided by 2 is 15 inches but what I have here is 16 inches. Why the hip measurement divided by 2 is 18.5 inches but what I have here is 20 inches. And the round needle is 9 inches, but what I have here is 9.5 inches. Now the next step is to lose one side of the shirt, in which you'll be attaching the zipper to. So I lose one side of the shirt to a length of 6 inches. Now I'll place the tape at one end to measure the overall waist circumference with the zip allowance included at the side. The overall waist circumference with the zip allowance included is 34 inches. The next step is to cut the waistband for the shirt. So the waistband will be 5 inches wide and 34 inches long. For the band to be firm on the waist, make sure you use a gum stay to glue the back of the band. Now I'll pin the waistband to the waist of the shirt.
After pinning, I'll take the shirt to the sewing machine to attach the waistband to the shirt. So this is the front piece with the pocket. Why this is the back piece? Now on this back piece, we have two darts here. I'll extend the dart line with a chalk on the band. The distance between these two lines is 9 inches. So I'll subtract 4 inches from 9 inches and that will be 5 inches. Now I'll cut an elastic band of 5 inches. I'll pin the elastic to the first line, then I'll also pin the other edge of the elastic to the second line. Now I'll take this to the sewing machine to stitch the edges of the elastic to the band. So after attaching the elastic band to the waist, the next step is to fold the band equally, then secure the edges of the fold all through the waistline now i've secured the waistline the next step is to attach the zipper to the side after attaching the zipper to the shirt the next step is to fold the shirt into two so the reason for holding the shirt into two is to be sure that both lengths are equal but in the case where one arm is longer than the other you can easily trim to make sure that the lengths are equal obviously the lengths here are equal so the next step is to fold the hem in by one inch so make sure you use the hot iron to press the hem for sewing So after ironing the hem, I'll take this to the sewing machine to secure the hem by one inch. Alright guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching to the very end. I really do appreciate it. Kindly subscribe, share and like my videos. And please also put on your notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos.